Here it is, ladies and gents, two years with this circus, with this absolute load of nonsense I have been doing on this channel. Two years of F1, now F1 slash E reviews with a fat slash between the one and the E. Yes, 2019, as, as it pretty much is, I mean, it's, it's technically 1819, but hey, we'll, we'll call it 2019. What a mega year. What an absolutely insane year. So if you're one of the over 15,000 people, crikey, that have joined the channel over the past 12 months, you probably don't have a clue what this video is, but I did it last year. Now this is my second time, my second end of year video. And I think for me, it's just really enjoyable just to look back. I mean, when I was looking back at last year's one, it's just such a complete change around, not only in the channel, but just in my complete mindset and ideas. I mean, some of the weird things I had planned, they went out the window very, very quickly at the start of the season. But I'd, I don't think I ever would have expected a such a year. And, you know, this is... This is such a bit of a ramble video, this will be, because that's the whole point of it. It's almost for me just to look back in the future and almost just to take a pause for the, for a minute or so. Just, you know, just just before the season ends and, and just kind of reflect on the year. What's worked well, what, what hasn't worked so well and where I can improve. And also, you know, just because why not? Might as well talk about my plans for the winter at the end of this video as well. Where should we start? Where should we start? I really haven't planned anything out for this video. I've wrote down a few statistics. Perhaps we should start there. So, of course, when I was kind of planning for this video, I had a look back at last year's video to see where we were. 3,325 subscribers, 500,000 views. We are now at 18,700 subscribers. <laughs> Christ. 3.5 million views. Thank you all so much. It is bizarre. It is strange. There's still work to do. You know, there's there's no denying that. But I think it's fair to say over these 12 months, there's been progress, I, I hope, anyway. At least I feel from, from my, my side of things. Um, in, in the content in general, I, I feel... Perhaps thumbnails have got a little bit more in line with each other. A little bit more uniform is probably a better way of doing it. A little bit more clean. Uh, probably a little bit more pleasing on the eye, I hope to think. Um, I, th I think engagement in terms of me being able to talk to you guys has been able to happen a little bit more. Um, the Mailbox series, bringing that back this year was something I definitely did not plan on doing. And yet, what an awesome success that has been. You love it. I love it. We've started... Only recently doing F1 online lobbies on the game. That's working really well. So recently, just little things like that, for me anyway, have, have really been helping towards just making the overall feel, without sounding too stupid, uh, but making the overall feel just a little bit better off the channel. Again, still a long way to go to, I don't know, any anything super major and catching up with the big boys. But at the moment, what a stupidly crazy year. I, I don't want to ever set targets myself. I said this in last year's video and when I was re-watching it, I thought, you know what, Dan, that's, that's very sensible. But I, I don't want to get caught up on that. So, of course, Personally, I have little goals, and I'll tell you what, we've completely smashed it this year by a country mile, so thank you. Other moments of the 2019 year. I mean, in the background, I've just got some some random footage you've been watching for the past, I don't know, two minutes or so. Uh, just Again, this is more just, you know, for 12 months' time, I can just see what was going on, what things looked like. Um, but 2018, my best videos were Lance Stroll... <laughs> Lance Stroll buying Force India, as, as it was, I, I suppose, cheekily named. Uh, we also had predictions for the 2019 lineup, who's going to replace Kimi Raikkonen. And then there were big news videos like Alonso retiring, Ricardo going to Renault. This year, it's been quite a bit different. There's been lots of transfer talk. That's worked really, really well over the summer. Uh, a lot of you loving Transfer Talk. There it is on screen, actually, that Daniel Ricciardo big boy one. You all seem to love that one. Any video with Ferrari, I'm slowly finding out, you all seem to like. But we also had the Beginner's Guide 
a lot of you joining the channel. Um, I'm really, I, I know, I don't always, but I really try and make it a little bit more accessible for the rookies out there, the noobs, because we all, you know, let's let's be totally honest, we were all noobs at some point to Formula One. Okay, some of us were perhaps were five and six, so it's a, a little bit more understandable. But hey, we, we've all got to start somewhere. And for most of us, you know, just starting out with Formula E at the moment, we're, we're all noobs at that. So yeah, I, I try and do that. So it's nice to get recognition on those kind of things. But some of my favourite videos, you've got one on the screen now, um, being able to do Paddock Pass, in Rome with Formula E was insane, absolutely insane. That's by by far, I think, my favourite video I have ever done on the channel. Just being able to be there and at least just trying just to do something, just put something out. It, it again, it's it's not the top quality, but for me that was that was mega. Definitely my biggest highlight of 2019. Um, other. Well, I was going to say other good videos, but other ones I really enjoyed. The Formula E Season 5 end of year review kind of job thing. That was insane. Formula E allowing me to do that. An hour and 20 feature length kind of review. Crazy. Absolutely ridiculous. And I will always say thank you so much to them for allowing me to do it. That, again, 12 months ago, I would never have even dreamed of being able to do that. Other videos off the top of my head, I'm probably forgetting some that you guys enjoyed, but again, most of the mailbox videos I absolutely love. I think the second half of 2019, the F1 kind of weekend videos, I, I've really enjoyed being able to do hot laps and, the, and just predictions and the newsroom, things like that. I've just quite enjoyed a little bit more quirky kind of things. Um, what else has happened in 2019? Of course, new name. Technically, uh, we've added the slash E, very happy with adding the slash E. We've got the new channel banner and the new channel logo, thanks to Bloomy Design. And he's also helped me with a few different bits and bobs with thumbnails and, and different graphical bits over the years. So I think that's actually quite a good segue into, I suppose. Oh, and actually, I'll talk about that later on. I'll segue into collabs, collaborations. Um, just because, again, I think year one was very much just understanding if I even wanted to do anything like this. If I even wanted to talk about F1 every weekend, year one, I, I didn't even do a race review for most race weekends. And getting into that habit has taken me a bit of time, but we've got there. We've only got one more to go. One more race of the decade, ladies and gents. But once again, I've worked with Sean. The F1 word, Jonty's Corner. Uh, but we've also added to the list quite a few names this year. Obviously, Formula E and Extreme E, being able to do work with them. Porsche sent me a little thing about their car launch for their Formula E car, which was awesome. Then I've also spoken to Alex Zafro, which was... That was one of the more surreal ones, to be totally honest with you. Mainly because, obviously, Alex has been in the game for a very, very long time. So being... Uh, a little Dan, a little Dan at secondary school, early secondary school, listening to people like Alex. To be able to now talk to them is really nice, in a sense, without sounding too weird and too soppy. Uh, we've also worked with the, the, the man, the myth, the legend, Chain Bear F1. He, he, again, ridiculous that I'm on channels like that. Sean's gone from strength to strength this year. He's pushing on. He's almost at the big 100. He's also launched the Formula E word properly this season. Being able to work with that, I'm, it, it's just crazy. And I suppose as well, I, I should mention them, um, almost forgot, but even Formula E zone, working with them for a season of Formula E, really opened my eyes to doing proper podcasting. And I don't want to say hosting, but working in an environment like that, usually with Sean, it's, it's completely different because I'm not really in control. Uh, but the Formula E Zone podcast was was so out of my comfort zone, and you know, I found it a little bit daunting at times. And uh, but it was a real eye opener, and, and overall I had fun. And those guys helping me go out to Rome, getting access to the paddock, it, it, pff, ridiculous. So thank you once again. Again, today's video isn't really anything too special. It's more just a bit of a fun one to look back. I just want to keep reminding people that in case they were expecting something crazy, this really is, and it's more just a. I've told you, just an analysis of 2019. Um, one of the biggest moments of 2019, except Rome, 
except Autosport going to Autosport. Yeah, that was right at the beginning of the year. Forgot about that as well. Blimey. Was, the, I mean, perhaps the biggest moment was uh, Roman Grosjean keeping his seat in Formula One. As soon as I got that news on that morning, I had work, but I knew I, I just had to get a video out just exclaiming my joy that Grosjean is remaining for 2020. Whether I will still be this happy 12 months down the line, I'm not too sure. I'm, <laughs> it, it's probably a bit unlikely, but on that day in the summer, that was that was pretty good. And I think that's it. I, I think, again, I, I've not really scripted anything today. I, I don't usually script a fat lot, to be totally honest with you, but I usually have a little bit more structure. I suppose this is a good time to talk about the winter, because I, I said I would, so I probably should. Um, Plans so far. I really enjoyed, and you seem to really enjoy, the, the driver mid-season reviews we did in the summer. So every day, a new driver, five to ten minute kind of bite-sized chunks of a driver. No order. I, I did that in the summer and I think that worked well. Just literally all I did was just go onto a randomizer on the internet, put in all the names, and then it just churned one out each day. And it ended up being quite a nice little order. And I, I probably will do a similar sort of thing for the winter. So I'd give it a couple of days after the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix just to settle down a little bit and to the realisation just to sink in that no Formula One for two months. I'm including testing there, so that's the plan. Mailbox, there'll be a few of those, including a very special Christmas Day mailbox. Don't know how well that'll do, but hey, I'm all for a little bit of fun going into the winter. But one more race of the decade. I suppose... Two years ago, when I when I first started this channel, talking, and actually, I suppose two years ago again to the day, um, we, we got the brand new logo for Formula One. That was my very first video, because I liked it, and on the internet, people didn't really seem to like it. Um, but again, just, I suppose, to wrap things up, thank you so much for an incredible year. Looking into the future, looking to next year, I, I, I don't want to set targets, but if we can hit a big 20 early doors, that would be absolutely lovely. But also, I think, content-wise, I've definitely learned a fat lot this year about what works, what doesn't, what you want to see on a race weekend, and what you don't. Podcast is in the works. We trialled it. I'm still not too sure, so I'd love to know your feedback on that. And also, oh, what's the other one? A few people asking for gaming content. Not, Not really my cup of tea. However... I say that, I do enjoy a good sweat sesh, but on the channel, I'm not really too sure. So I'm still going to do open lobbies. Probably, that's probably a thing in general, actually. Social media, trying a little bit a little bit more. Twitter, I, I, I don't really do a fat lot. I'm just getting Insta, or into the Instagram kind of tools and, and game. And it's, it's not really my cup of tea. I'm not too brilliant at it. But I know, again, a little bit like I said earlier on, what I do enjoy is talking to you guys and... A few of you I've just been chatting to on Instagram. Just <laughs> that's it. And if if I can do more of that in 2020, I'll I'll be a happy boy. Um, a completely different tone today. I don't really know why, but I've I've kind of enjoyed it. I hope I look back on this and think, Dan, you were a bit of a cry today. <laughs> Whatever reason, I, I, it's last race of the decade, last race of the season. Then. Too many months till 2020. Right, but I'll leave it there. I think that's... I, I've said my piece today. I've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed having a look back over the year. It, it's been awesome. And again, this is a bit of a, a waste of time video. So if you've made it this far and you're new, apologies. I don't imagine many of you are going to be new watching this one. Probably just down to the title and the thumbnail, really. But... If you are new, hey, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Welcome to the channel. Uh, but no, all of you, thank you once again for a cracking year. I hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you next year in 2020.